guys, I'm making another video to explain to people why TIs don't get help. But I can only describe it from my perspective of where I live because there's different reasons depending on where you live. What you see on your screen right now is me preparing a trial. When you hire a lawyer in Nova Scotia, they do not prepare the trials. You have to prepare everything yourself. All they do is the court. Also in Nova Scotia, I'm in a place called Canada, a country called Canada. In Canada, it's divided into provinces. Each one of those provinces have a different legal system. In most places in Canada, you can go from lawyer to lawyer, showing them your paperwork and having a free consultation. So you can do that up to 20, 30, 40 lawyers if you want. And they'll all give you information. And usually they give you really good advice. And you've gathered a lot of good sound information for free and you're able to make a good sound choice. However, where I live in Nova Scotia, you can't do that. Even to, uh, for a lawyer to look at your paperwork, it costs hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars, you guys, only for them to tell you they can't take it. Another thing they do here, most lawyers are not allowed to do anything CPS, but they're never going to tell you that. So they're going to throw you under the bus in court. So in my daughter's abduction, I've had hired five lawyers. Now another thing people will tell you, legal aid, legal aid, legal aid, legal aid, and pro bono. I make too much money, you guys, to get legal aid. However, now my trial is done, and I, they've taken all my money, so now I would tr uh, uh, be able to get legal aid. But the thing is, you guys, in my case, what they didn't tell me is that police were going to pass in a whole pile of information on me. Like, they don't tell you that if you go up against CPS, they are going to create a case that you, no court here, you guys, will give you the amount of time for the court cases that they create, okay? So if you don't go along with them, and what I mean by go along with them is they turn me into a criminal. They accuse me of horrendous crimes against elderly people. However, there was no proof, no nothing, but in order for me to get my daughter back, I had to say that I did that. Then I had to go through all the programs to rehabilitate myself from that, which would have been at least one year. But you guys, it's never set up for me to be able to even in one year do all those programs. It was already set up. We had no choice. So I paid thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. All the lawyers could have told me, but why didn't they? Okay, so you see what they're doing to people? The whole point of this is for you to be on the system your whole life. The courts made money, the police made money, the CPS made money, and they're going to continue to make money. And as we speak, they're trying to change the date so that they can institutionalize her even longer. But most likely, my daughter will never get out of that institution. They tricked her. They told her if they, she signed documents. So what they do is they take these kids and they put them under so much abuse. They can't have oats. She was not allowed outside contact, you guys. They forced her to cut her hair, and they say they didn't. Well, she was so afraid to say no. So in order to get food, to get anything, to get outside contact with her boyfriends, you guys, she had to go against me too. They tell these people that 
Your mother didn't make any effort whatsoever, you guys. Like, they damaged these kids so bad, and now these, she will be made. They will do, in the time that they have her, they will have her targeting other people and have her indoctrinated. And if she doesn't go along with it, she'll never be free because they did that to my aunt. See a previous video of what they did to my aunt. My aunt reported abuse. They put her in an institutionalized her for years and years and years and years and years. When she came out, she wasn't normal, you guys. Then they gave her a job at the Hid Mental Institute. So she was literally like the lady you see from the movie who flew over the cuckoo's nest. Then when they shut that down and put all those people out, she went on to be the hid nurse at the prison, you guys. While she, they made a person, perfect person to do that. Your average person would have never lasted that long in those jobs. But they removed part of her brain, most likely, and they put her on heavy duty drugs and they abused her and scared her so bad. So she was very functioning. That's a high paying job, you guys. She seemed very functioning by the outside world, but she's never been able to have any relationships. She's 65 and she's dying. She's retired now and she's dying. She's never been able to have any sort of normal life. She got a nice car and a nice job and a whole pocket full of money. And when you look at her, her account, she looks like she traveled all over the world and had a beautiful life. But no, she's not normal any single second. So that's the purpose of my videos, is to show the world how this is being done. But many of you know already. And because like people just send me all kinds of stuff. Well, why can't you do anything? Why isn't anything being done? Why don't you go here? And they don't understand that we, you, you know, like what they told you about them people being in such need that we run to our abusers for help, you guys, is real. Like, People are doing that already. Like, if you watch my videos, you guys, you can see that the natives had to do that, and the colored people had to do that. And then they joined forces to do the divide and conquer against the white people. That's what's happening now. So they scooped her up, and there was two black people authorities, you guys, one an MLA and one a lawyer. They've been scooping people up like crazy, the one lawyer, and they both told me, both made fun of me and said, you guys did it to our people, now we're doing it to yours. But the thing is, you guys, she is not just a white person. She is a mixed race person, you know? And she's in human trafficking, you guys. Nobody knows where she's at, okay? And look at her. Just look at her.